टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट ग्लूकोमा इंट्रोडक्शन एंड क्लासिफिकेशन वी विल कॉल इट ग्लूकोमा व्हेन देयर आर वन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक अपीयरेंस ऑफ ऑप्टिक डिस्क दैट इज हाई कप डिस्क रेशियो नॉर्मल डिस्क कप रेशियो इज अप टू 1:0.3 डिस्क कप रेशियो मोर देन 1:0.3 इज कंसीडर्ड ग्लूकोमा सस्पेक्ट टू कैरेक्टरिस्टिक विजुअल फील्ड डिफेक्ट्स In glaucoma peripheral visual field is affected first and result in tubular vision. 3 with or without raised intraocular pressure. Raised IOP that is more than 22 mm of Hg is frequently associated but not always. You might be thinking even if IOP is normal still glaucoma can develop? Yes. When IOP is normal but high cap disc ratio and visual field defects are there then it's called normal tension glaucoma ntg or low tension glaucoma ltg now again you might be thinking what if iop is high but cap disc ratio and visual field is normal when iop is high but cap disc ratio is normal and no visual defects are there then it's called ocular hypertension most types of glaucoma has no prominent symptom due to which patients are not aware of glaucoma and comes to the physician when significant vision and visual field loss already developed thus it is called silent thief of vision or silent killer now classification of glaucoma one clinico etiological classification a congenital or developmental glaucoma this may be one primary congenital glaucoma to developmental glaucoma b primary adult glaucoma this may be one primary open angle glaucoma or puag two primary angle closure glaucoma or pscg three primary mixed mechanism glaucoma c secondary glaucoma two depending upon the mechanism of rise in iop this may be one secondary open angle glaucoma 2 secondary angle closure glaucoma 3 depending upon the causative primary disease lens induced glaucoma inflammatory glaucoma pigmentary glaucoma neovascular glaucoma pseudo exfoliative glaucoma glaucoma due to hemorrhage steroid induced glaucoma traumatic glaucoma glaucoma in aphakia or pseudophakia glaucoma associated with tumor Now clinical etiological classification A congenital or developmental glaucoma These are divided into two types one primary congenital glaucoma it occurs due to anomalies of eyeball two developmental glaucoma it is not associated with any anomalies B primary adult glaucoma one primary open angle glaucoma or puag It occurs in eyes with open angle of anterior chamber and there is no obvious systemic and ocular disease of rise in intraocular pressure. 2 primary angle closure glaucoma or PSCG. Rise in intraocular pressure occurs due to blockage of the aqueous humor outflow by closure or narrower the angle of the anterior chamber. 3 primary mixed mechanism glaucoma. It refers to elevated IOP in which both open angle and angle closure glaucoma mechanisms are present. C secondary glaucoma. It refers to rise of intraocular pressure associated with some primary ocular or systemic diseases. Now depending upon the mechanism of rise in IOP. One secondary open angle glaucoma. in which aqueous outflow may be blocked by a pretrabecular membrane trabecular clogging edema and scarring or elevated episcleral venous pressure two secondary angle closure glaucoma in which raised iop may or may not be associated with pupillary block now depending upon the causative primary diseases one lens induced glaucoma In this group IOP is raised secondary to some disorder of crystalline lens common subtypes are a phacomorphic glaucoma it is an acute secondary angle closure glaucoma 
caused by swollen cataract lens due to rapid maturation of cataract or traumatic rupture of capsule. B. Faculitic glaucoma. IOP raised due to trabecular meshwork is clogged by the leakage lens protein come out through an intact capsule in hypermature cataract lens. Inflammatory glaucoma mostly occurred due to inflammation of the uveal tissue that is iridocyclitis by uveitis. Even in other ocular inflammations such as keratitis and scleritis, the rise in IOP is usually due to secondary involvement of the anterior uveal tract. Inflammatory glaucoma can be divided into a hypertensive uveitis. Hypertensive uveitis refers to acute inflammation of the anterior uvea associated with raised IOP. B. Post-inflammatory glaucoma. In it, IOP is raised due to after effects of the iridocyclitis due to pupillary block in sinicea, angle closure glaucoma due to iris root swelling, and open angle glaucoma due to debris obstruction in trabecular meshwork. Pigmentary glaucoma. IOP raised due to clogging up the trabecular meshwork occurs by the pigment particles. New vascular glaucoma NVG. IOP raised due to formation of new vascular membrane involving the angle of anterior chamber. Pseudo exfoliative glaucoma. Pseudo exfoliative syndrome is characterized by deposition of an amorphous gray dandruff like material on the pupillary border, anterior lens surface posterior surface of iris, jonules, and ciliary processes. Glaucoma in pseudophakia. IOP raised due to hyphema after cataract surgery, postoperative steroid medication, etc. Steroid-induced glaucoma. It is a type of secondary open-angle glaucoma which develops following topical and sometimes systemic steroid therapy. Traumatic glaucoma. It is associated with trauma and IOP raised due to inflammation, hemorrhage, swollen or dislocated lens, traumatic sinicea, etc. Glaucoma in intraocular hemorrhages. IOP raised due to intraocular hemorrhages including hyphema and vitreous hemorrhage due to blockage of trabecular meshwork by red blood cells, obstruction or clogging of the trabecular meshwork, etc. Glaucoma in intraocular tumor occurs in intraocular tumors such as malignant melanoma of iris, choroid, ciliary body, and retinoblastoma. IOP is raised due to trabecular block due to clogging by tumor cells, new vascularization of the angle, and forward displacement of iris lens diaphragm by increasing tumor mass. Stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly.